School did a song back in 2008 called Learn to Swim. You should really listen to it. One of the expected to pound down on Oroville. Crews are more concerned about the damage already done to the spillway than they are about the rain. They are confident that they've drained enough of the dam to be able to reduce the outflow coming down behind me. As of Thursday evening, the flow has been curbed to 80,000 cubic feet per second, a 20% decrease from earlier in the week. In slowing the level of water coming down, crews can start working on another problem, clearing debris that forced a hydroelectric power plant to go offline. Crews behind me are working now to shore up the water's edge. That way, they can safely begin work on the hydro plant, clearing debris from the outtake pipes. The Department of Water Resources says if those get clogged, it's going to be a lot harder to restart the plant. So far, we've got great news coming from inside the plant. Again, there is some water. The, the mitigation measures in place are protecting the plant. So if that's the case, if we can bring the water down to appropriate levels so we can turn that plant on, we will turn it on. By decreasing the flow, crews can start removing that debris. Though the Department of Water Resources doubts the plant could be up and running in time for Monday's monster storm, it's important to get working on it so it can be used this spring. The plant can release about 14,000 CFS, helping the overall operation at the dam. Inside the reservoir, the water level is now around 860 feet, giving 40 feet of wiggle room for this winter storm. The capacity is 900. While water drains on the main spillway, crews are working round the clock on the emergency spillway, which gave way when the water level topped 900 feet and flowed over. Helicopters are bringing concrete blocks and rocks every few minutes to the site. This the picture was taken back in 2013, showing the erosion damage where the trucks are. into what caused the main spillway to initially collapse will take months. And right now, early estimates on damage are hard to pin down, but run in the tens of millions of dollars. Here on the ground, the operation is being taken day by day. The National Weather Service canceled its flash flood warning that's been in effect since Sunday, but officials here are warning that this is still an emergency situation and residents should be prepared. They said that cubic feet per second was lower, but you can see here it looks even higher on the spillway.